So what is virtual reality or VR? When most people think of virtual reality, they think of these. These are VR headsets, used to give the user an immersive experience of virtual reality. These are clearly part of our physical reality. Is this virtual reality? Well, no. This is someone wearing a VR headset, hopefully interacting with some kind of virtual reality. Virtual reality and the tools to access it has been talked about for many years. I remember one company for which I worked inviting in a speaker on the subject some years ago and the first thing he asked us was how soon we thought that virtual reality would go mainstream and encapsulate all our lives and experiences. Opinions in the team varied with 5, 10 or even 20 years being mentioned. His response to this was a question, where do you think your money is now? We replied, in the bank, or in our pockets, or the ATM cash dispensers. But is it, he replied, your money has been virtual for years. Almost no one is paid in actual cash anymore. Your income goes from one account to another, all in the virtual world of the banking system. It's a special kind of virtual reality, so subtle that most people haven't noticed and accept it as reality. So apart from finance, what other virtual reality systems are you already using? Overlooking the fact that you're watching this on YouTube, which is full of many recordings or facsimiles of reality, games are another form of virtual reality, where what happens in the real world is simulated within a computer. This is a simulation of the Battle of Borodino from 200 years ago. The graphics are primitive by today's standards, as the application was created many years ago. However, the logic and gameplay is a close simulation of what it would have been like to command within such a battle. So it's obvious that this is not a close simulation of reality, and is in fact a simulation running on a computer. The application does allow you the limited ability to change what happened in the battle by making different decisions to those made at the time. But there is a twist in this. The application is so old it won't run properly on my current operating system. So I've had to run it inside a virtual computer, running the XP operating system. So what we have here is a simulation of a real world event, the Battle of Borodino, running on a computer which is itself is virtualized, running inside an application emulating that computer on another real-world computer. So what does that do to your concept of virtual reality? How can you tell what is virtual and what is real? And does it actually make a difference? So where does all this leave PowerBasic? I spend some of my working day writing and supporting applications, written in both the PowerBasic console and Windows compilers. The majority of these applications run on virtual Windows servers, which in turn run on very powerful physical servers. So in a very real sense, these applications are already in the virtual world. So hopefully you'll keep coding in PowerBasic, helping to extend the boundaries of the virtual world. That's it for today. Thank you for watching.